Okay, I am the god of hard drives, hundreds and hundreds of hard drives, and I had a hard drive failure, but I have a backup, but I wanted to give you a secret. I made a video on this. You see I've got it mounted now, and I have it in a hard drive dock. Currently, it's a 1.5 uh, terabyte Toshiba. They all fail. This one failed at about a year, but the hard drive itself didn't fail. That's what everybody thinks. This was a Toshiba 1.5 terabyter. What you do is you crack open the case. This was a USB. And attached to the hard drive, the culprit 99% of the time is this miserable little POS. And it's called a SATA bridge. Okay, this connects to the hard drive. And here's the USB connector. So all you have to do is uh, take a uh, screwdriver or whatnot, crack open the hard drive. Yep. Like this one actually had foil overlapping connected to the hard drive and the SATA bridge was in there as an electrostatic shield. And uh, this is always the part that failed. 99% of the time there's uh, actually only a few failure points on um, conventional hard drives, i.e. spinning disk hard drives. Uh, one is motor failure. Another one is a head crash, and they also call that the uh, click of death. The uh, When you plug in the hard drive, it goes click, 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 click. That's the click of death. You're absolutely screwed. If you ever reach that point, then, uh, and you have, uh, you know, a loss of data, then what you did is the hard drive didn't screw up. You screwed up. And the reason you screwed up is that you didn't have a redundancy. Because when it comes to hard drives and solid state drives, they all suffer bit rot. Redundancy is God. Let me repeat that two more times. Redundancy is God. Redundancy is God. But on conventional hard drives, your USB ones, people are like, ah, you'll they'll send off the hard drive for a really expensive data recovery. You, people won't take these apart. They'll just like, oh my God, my hard drive dead, my data's lost. No. If you have a USB or Thunderbolt hard drive, take it apart. And this just literally unplugs. You don't have to do any soldering or anything. You literally grab it on both ends and doink, remove it from the hard drive. It's this thing, and it's called a SATA bridge. It is a 50 cent POS piece of shite. And this is always what fails. That's not to say that head crashes don't exist. That's not to say that you don't have controller board failure. And... Um, yeah, this is a controller board failure that's extremely rare. Motor drive failure is uh, very rare, actually. Head crash is pretty common. That's because people stupidly bang around or knock their hard drive and they'll use it uh, like on the go or in a car or in a train or whatnot. And uh, all those spinning platters, you know, revolving at uh, 7200 RPM or 5400 RPM, you just end up with head crash. You're not supposed to use conventional spinning hard drives while you're moving or bumping but i mean head crash occurs regardless of that but that's the thing that is a severe leading cause so here's a little piece of crap i've uh i've had many of these fail on me and uh if you think your hard drive's failed it hasn't what's failed is this the issue now on the uh, newer hard drives is that uh that uh, they've incorporated this into the controller board, so you can't literally... This is why the older hard drives, the USB hard drives, are much, much better. Okay, because this was a separate part, like this one. And you could remove it. On the newer ones, you can't remove it. They've integrated it into the controller board. This uh, green... Yeah, that's the controller board. Now they've integrated that, then when it does fail, then you really are screwed. That's why I prefer the older USB hard drives, because... Yeah, and the reason they did that is to save themselves five cents or ten cents in production costs. So, here we go. Um, I'm going to... The hard drive is still good. I just uh, need to use a different... Uh, a new uh, SATA bridge, and I have spare SATA bridges. Thanks for watching. Bye.